All right, it's time for the final chapter of Junie B. Jones and Her Big Fat Mouth. Chapter 8, Gus Filoni. Today, janitor came into room 9 for show and tell. And it was the funniest, it was the funnest day I ever saw. That's because he brought his very big toolbox with him. And we played a game called Name the Tools. And guess what? I do the saw and the hammer and the metric socket set with the adjustable ratchet. The janitor showed us how to use his stuff, and Charlotte got to shine his giant flashlight. My bestest friend Grace got to push his big broom, and lucky duck Lucio got to clean the chalkboard with his squishy sponge. Except for then a little bit of trouble happened, because I wanted the mop, only that stupid head Jim wouldn't let go of it, and so I had to pinch his arm. After that, the mop, mop got removed from us. Removed is a school word for snatched right out of our hands. After that, Janitor sat on a chair. Room 9 sat all around him. He told us all about himself and his job. And guess what? He's been Janitor for 14 years. He was born in a different country from ours. And his name is Gus Filoni. Hey, I love that name of Gus Filoni, I hollered out. Because Filoni is my favorite kind of sandwich. And then I smiled very proud. And guess what? I said to Room 9. Me and Janet are our bestest friends, and sometimes he calls you by the nickname of Sis. Then Janitor winked at me, and so I winked back, except for both of my eyes kept on shutting. So I had to hold one of them open with my fingers. I really like that Gus Filoni, I whispered to my best friend Lucille. Only, only then that dumb girl named Lily heard what I said, and she started singing, Junie B's got a boyfriend, Junie B's got a boyfriend. And that's how I come I felt very embarrassed. Me and my big fat mouth, I said. Then Mrs. laughed, and Janitor laughed, and everybody else laughed too. After that, Janitor had to go back to work, and so Mrs. shook his hand. Then Room 9 clapped and clapped for him, and Janitor smiled, and his jingly keys jangled all the way out the door. And that's the end of Junie B. Jones and Her Big Fat Mouth.